much for meeting with me today about your project. I'm really excited to learn more about your work. Will you please explain the details of your research questions and the design for this project? Well, I don't think you need too much information. Uh, basically, we would like you to run an ANCOVA and get us the p-values for each factor. Uh, I also have a list of tables I need to add p-values to. It's funny. Most people think of statisticians as number crunchers based on how statistics has been historically taught, but the more important role that we have is study design and aligning the analysis with research questions and design. I do want to do my best to help you justify your results. If I just run the analysis without enough information, I'll have a hard time clearly communicating the results. And of course, we want to avoid mistakes and misleading conclusions. Well, if I could do it myself, I would, but I really need someone to take the data and put it into a program and give me the p-values. I feel comfortable using the p-values from there. Isn't your role to provide me with the results I need for my research? Well, yes and no. I do want to provide you with what you need for your research, but I can't do that without a clear understanding of your work. You know, the benefit of collaborating with a statistician is a in-depth analysis and assessing assumptions. It's a little embarrassing to admit, but on one of my first collaborations, I made the mistake of jumping to the analysis too quickly. And then when I got more information on the design, I realized that there were issues in the approach I first took. It wasted everyone's time and it was a really valuable lesson for me. So I hope that we can work together to share more information first to avoid having to redo things later. And of course, reporting misleading information. Okay, that makes sense. But I really don't have a lot of extra time for this project. What info did you need again? I would like to learn about your specific research questions and the details of how you carried out the experiment. We have a new treatment that can prevent a fungus in roses during storage. We have two factors and a covariate, so that means ANCOVA is the way to go, right? Well, let's talk more about how you designed the experiment before jumping to the analysis. It sounds really interesting. Oh, what were the two factors that you manipulated in the design? Uh, well, the first factor was hydration. That's fascinating. Thank you so much for sharing so much information. I may have follow-up questions, but I think I understand the motivation for your project as well as the logistical constraints related to your experimental design. I'll have to take some time to take, think through a reasonable way to account for those in the modeling. I'd also like you to take some time to look at the meeting notes in the next couple of days to make sure I summarize the details of the de design correctly. Do you have some time to meet again next week? Sure. You know, it was really helpful to describe my research to someone who knew nothing about it. You asked very different questions than the ones my colleagues typically ask. I didn't realize that some of the things related to the design could affect how we do the analysis. I have some stuff to think about for future work.